The Faralan Plate was an ancient oceanic plate that began subducting under the west coast of the North American Plate, then located in modern Utah as Pangaea broke apart during the Jurassic period. It is named for the Faralan Islands, which are located just west of San Francisco, California. Over time, the central part of the Faralan Plate was completely subducted under the southwestern part of the North American Plate. The remaining of the Faralan Plate are the Juan de Fuca, Explorer and Gorda Plates. Subducting under the northern part of the North American Plate, the Cocos Plate subducting under Central America, and the Nazca Plate subducting under the South American Plate. The Faralan Plate is also responsible for transporting old island arcs and various fragments of continental crustal material rifted off from other distant plates and across treating them to the North American plate. These fragments from elsewhere are called terrains. Much of Western North America is composed of these accreted terrains. Current state. The understanding of the Faralan plate is rapidly evolving as details from seismic tomography provide improved details of the submerged remnants. Since the North American west coast shows a convoluted structure, significant work has been required to resolve the complexity. In 2013 a new and more nuanced explanation emerged, proposing two additional now subducted plates which would account for some of the complexity. Historic view. Is data accumulated? A common view was that one large oceanic plate, the Faralan Plate, acted as a conveyor belt, conveying terrains to North America's west coast, where they accreted. As the continent overran the subducting Faralan Plate, the denser plate was subducted into the mantle below the continent. When the plates converged, the dense oceanic plate sank into the mantle to form a slab below the lighter continent. Faroalan plate subduction forms Cordilleran North America as of 2013. It is generally accepted that the western quarter of North America consists of accreted terrain accumulated over the past 200 million years as a result of the oceanic Faralan plate moving terrains onto the continental margin as it subducts under the continent. However, this simple model was unable to explain many terrain complexities, and is inconsistent with seismic tomographic images of subducting slabs penetrating the lower mantle. In April 2013 Siglock and Malinuk noted that under North America these subducting slabs formed massive, essentially vertical walls of 800 kilometers to 2,000 kilometers deep and 400 to 600 kilometers wide, forming slab walls. One such large slab wall runs from northwest Canada to the eastern U.S. and extends to Central America. This slab wall had traditionally been associated with the subducting Faralan plate. Siglock and Malinuk proposed that the Faralan should be partitioned into northern Faralan. Angar Yusham, Mescalera and Southern Faralan segments based on recent tomographic models. Under this model, the North American continent overrides a series of subduction trenches and incorporates microcontinents as it moves west in the following sequence 165 to 155 MYR ago the Mescalera promontory strikes land and begins to be overridden. The overridden segment is replaced by an incipient South Faralan trench. 160 to 155 MYR ago the Rocky Mountain deformation begins, recorded by a sonorogenic clastic wedge. The Franciscan subduction complex on the South Faralan plate begins. 125 MYR ago the collision of the North America margin with an archipelago of terrains begins. This broad expanse causes strong deformations and creates the Severe Mountains and the Canadian Rocky Mountains. 124 to 90 MYR ago the Omanica magmatic belts are formed in the Pacific Northwest along with a gradual over
override of the Mescalera promontory by the Pacific Northwest. 85 MYR ago the South Faralan Trench moves westward after accretion of the Shatsky Rise conjugate plateau. Sonora volcanism results from the slab sinking. The Tarahumara Agnimbrite province is formed. 85 to 55 MYR ago a strong transgressive coupling of Faralan plate to terrains produces the buoyant Shatsky rise. The Laramide orogeny results from basement uplift more than 1,000 km inland. 72 to 69 MYR ago the Angar Yushimak is overridden by North America and Carmack's volcanic episode results. 85 to 55 MYR ago conjugate subducts, northward shuffle of insular terrain, into montane terrain, and Angar Yushim terrains along margin. 55 to 50 MYR ago saw the override of the Cascadia route arc by the Pacific Northwest along with accretion of the Silesia and Pacific Rim terrains. 55 to 50 MYR ago final override of of westernmost Angar Yushim occurred, with an explosive end of coast mountain arc volcanism. When the final archipelago, the Silesia archipelago, lodged as a terrain, the associated trench stepped west as the terrain accreted, converting an intra oceanic subduction trench into the current Cascadia subduction zone and creating a slab window. 